So we're here today because Bars has a new book out, The Illustrated Grimoire of Pope Honorius. Have I got that right? You got that right. To be totally um, precise, the Hierosmus Adams Adam edition. Yes, I didn't even know they're different editions, to be honest with you. So oh, far, great. what's special about this book? And who is Pope Honorius? I'm English and I'm not Catholic, so I probably wouldn't know anyway. Um, the grimoire of Pope Honorius is actually a, a long French tradition of grimoires. There is there is a whole lot of grimoires of Pope Honorius out there. One has succeeded the others and, and they go the <laughs> earliest recorded. Hmm? Does, does that mean he actually existed or was it just, just a made up name? It could, there's, there's quite a few Pope Honoriuses. There's it's even common. an anti Pope Honorius. An anti Pope. So, it's, this is, uh, uh, this is uh, not uh, the grimoire of the anti Pope Honorius. No, even though um, Eliphas Levi thought so. He thought really? that there was an, a, a man who was a, he, 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 he had been elected Pope by a group of people, and the other group of people had not elected him. And then they chose another one. So, he was not elected, although he thought he was. And he, he, he raised an army and he went to Rome <laughs> and he tried to conquer the papal hoods, or how do you call it? Why, why didn't he do a magical ritual and just turn them into... Because he was not the one. Ah, okay. Uh, so it wasn't that one? No. Which I never, which I never knew about. Um, the, the full name of the manuscript right. is actually the grimoire of Pope Honorius the Great. Well, that's that's enough for that. Yes, because there's only one Pope who was nicknamed Honorius the Great, and that is the first Honorius, 600 after Christ. And uh, he was also the only Honorius to have been condemned for heresy, be it oh, mortal. So he's a bad boy. No, because then he was reinstated in his honours. He was uh, First he was excommunicated, and then he was, I forgot even the, the, the correct English word for it, he was reinstated, Right. But nevertheless, at the the the, the 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 manuscript that I have translated, that has never been translated before, I found right. it in the French library myself. Point. Um, it it literally says that this grimoire is um, it's it's not dedicated to it. It was made by Pope Honorius the first in six hundred and thirty five, who was succeeded by Bonifas, Pope Bonif Bonifacius. Boniface. Boniface. Yes, Boniface. I don't know how exactly you say it's, it. It's very confusing, these popes. I thought grimoires were hard enough. Oh, and then there were to... female popes who pretended to be men, I believe. Yeah, yeah. well, there's all of that as well, isn't there, too? I mean, it's bad enough in Brighton sometimes without the church getting involved as well. <laughs> so, this book. So, you translate it. So, so where, was this, where was this manuscript? Um with my good friend and co-writer Arundel Overman, we were going through um, the, the famous grimoires in the Arsenal Library in France, just right. for fun. The Arsenal Library has, for example, the original manuscript of the Magic of Abramelin. Really? And, yeah, McGregor Mathers has uh, really gone through that library and everything that was, and the most interesting things have already been published there. Now, well, this is there still is interesting, grimoire, isn't it? Yeah. This is still interesting. Yes. Well, th there is a grimoire of Pope Honorius in that library, which has already been translated more than once. Right. But there is a name in that grimoire. Right. And, and searching for that name, I found another grimoire in another library, which until now had never been digitized or published or any, nobody had, even, had taken right. a decent look at it. So it needs and to be out there. And this is the grimoire I have translated. Fantastic. Yes, so it for was people, fascinating material, and it was a fascinating journey. So for people who don't know, grimoire means grammary. It's, a, it's, it's to do with grammar, you know, the, the syntax and things we use <coughs> in language. And, and it's, a, it's they're usually a list of spells, aren't they? <coughs> and rituals to invoke certain spirits. Yes, in this case, yes. It is uh, rituals to invoke the seven spirits of the days of the week and the four elements. Excellent. That's so a really, eleven really conjurations. Interesting subject, actually. That's where the power is, <clears throat> because the seven planets, seven days of the week, and you have the planetary hour system there as well. 
So um, they're, they're useful things to know. And do we, uh, do we know the spirits very well or the um, obscure? Yes, yes, we do. Um, audience, Amaimon, Paimon, Ijin. Yeah, and then yeah that's they're the, all uh, That's the four directions. And then the seven days of the week are Lucifer, Frimost, Astaroth, Sirkade, Beshar, Guland, and Sergots. Now, if you do your homework, so, these are all, you can refer all these to um, the Goetia. They all have their analogs in the Goetia. And Amramelin as well, aren't they? They're in that as well. So you so say this is an important book to have. It is. It is. If there's a gap in your shelf on the on the on the uh, Honorius Grimoire front, and and it's certainly lacking mine. I have to tell you, actually, I'm I'm not too well up on Grimoire sometimes. So this is going to be really well worth book to get. I haven't got it yet. So I've ordered it, and it hasn't arrived Neither yet. Neither do I. It's so brand new. I haven't even got my own copies yet. It, it makes me feel a bit better, then, doesn't it? You know. <laughs> So you can get it from the usual sources, Amazon and things yes. like this part. You can get it on all the Amazons. Um, we'll, leave uh, a, we'll, we'll leave a link in the bottom. 